Yeah, so apparently you can no longer make characters on Chaos Bond, a North American server, and there's also free character moves. Which, I mean, we're just gonna read the post, but based on what I'm seeing here is that they want you to go away from Chaos Bond, so they can shut it down or something. Maybe it's like not that popular, I mean, I have no idea. At the beginning of Season of Discovery, we reassured you that there was no wrong choice for realms, and that if any realm population started to fall uh, disproportionately, we would enable free character moves off that realm. Holding to that promise, we have opened free character moves from the Chaos Bolt US, RP PvP realm to Crusader Strike US, RP PvP, with this week's maintenance. Additionally, new character creation has been disabled on Chaos Bolt. So, the population is low. They're giving you free transfers, and they are making it so you can't make new characters there. Okay, um, hello? <laughs> so they're basically mer merging then. Yeah, they're basically merging, right, Andre? Based on what I'm seeing here, they're trying to merge and they're trying to get people to um, transfer. And they might just end up shutting down the server eventually. These transfers are not time limited and the PvP enforced faction balance remains in effect on Crusader Strike. So you can, you can use these all the time, but the forced PvP and like faction balance will still be there. Which means that if it's too many alliance on Crusader Strike and you're playing alliance on Chaos Bolt, you just can't do anything. This free character transfer service for this realm is temporarily disabled while we investigate a bug. Okay. I mean, there's a couple of Reddit posts about this as well. To all the Chaos Bolters considering leaving, Blizzard did us an amazing favor by locking our servers. No more bots can- Oh, <laughs> hello. So, okay, no one new people can join either, so like, it's not gonna grow. It's not gonna grow at all, but for the people that are currently playing there, there's not gonna be any botting on that server. As long as Blizzard bans the current bots, of course, so, there really isn't much incentive to leave. I, I think there is. I mean, as people just start leaving, it's like a downward trend. There will be more conflict for resources, tagging mobs for leveling and farming, open world events, fiestas among all the crowded players, or crowded layers. Our server is healthy. If you left, you can still consider starting fresh or going back to a trusty alt. Can you start fresh though? Because they disabled character creation. If you actually have one character there now, yeah, can you start the second to buy one? Buy some gold eventually, or buy gold really, buy gear. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Blizzard, don't, don't ban me, bro. Don't, don't ban me, man. <laughs> oh, we got him. <laughs> got him, dude. Yo, Ash Raven, thank you so much for the Prime. I really do appreciate that, my friend. Thank you so much. Thank you. How you doing, man? How you doing? Yeah, to those of you still here, consider staying here. I think it will be much more enjoyable. And Blizzard has said there is no timetable to close the transfer. Based on the wording, that's what I'm getting as well. Like, if this was going to be a time-limited thing, they would put this that... Um, where is it again? We have opened free character moves. If this was supposed to be a time-limited thing, they would say we have a temporarily opened free character moves. The fact that they are not using the word temporarily, and they're saying these transfers are not time limited, it looks like they just want you to transfer off the server, right? And not being allowed to make new players either, like, new player character creation. I guess if you already have an alt there, like if you have one character on Chaos Bond, you can make 10 more, but if you don't already have one, it's a new player character creations. So if you already have one character, you can make 10 more, but if you don't have one, you can't start there. So people that are currently playing there, you can keep playing for sure, but um, well, based on what I'm guessing, getting here, that's what I'm getting. Update on Chaos Bolt server transfers, is that what I just saw? The one with the blue post, right? where it's currently not working, or like disabled because of a bug. With restarts this morning, we have fixed characters um, who transferred and were able to un unable to log in. Root cause was some paranoid code. Paranoid... Para 
Paranoid code <laughs> we added during Classic Hardcore launch. The underlying code fix is still in progress, but we hope to reopen these transfers later this week. When we do, we will also be opening transfers to Lava Lash as well. So now you have both Lava Lash and Crusader Strike. For anyone looking for a more dedicated RP roleplay experience. Huh. Chaos Bolt Service will have the option to transfer to Lava Lash, RP, or Crusader Strike. So they're basically looking to shut down Chaos Bolt, or just not um, keep Chaos Bolt growing. This is really weird. Let me let me take this down for a little second. Let's go to Ironforge.pro. We can check out the current population on Ironforge.pro and take a look if this is justified. I mean, we can go to demographics. Let me put it back up again. We have demographics right here. Now, these demographics are for Wrath. So let's go to Classic SOD, Season of Discovery. Crusader Strike EU, and this was about US, right? Is there any way to only have US here? There we go, a little bit less crowded. So they're giving you the option to go to the most popular server for free. Crusader Strike, the most popular one for free. PvP RP, why not just also include Lone Wolf? Even though that's only PvP, I understand, but like, it's only PvP. This one is PvP RP, just let people on Chaos Bolt choose any server, just not PvE. But any of the PvP servers, just let them let them choose. But um, why would they let people transfer off of Chaos Bolt to Lava Lash when, based on this, Chaos Bolt is looking better than Lava Lash? <laughs> I mean, Lava Lash. P okay, uh, Lava Lash is PVE roleplay, so I guess that makes sense. But Chaos Bolt, based on the season of Discovery on Ironforge, it's four thousand eight hundred active people that are like raid logging. Or like logging their raids could be even more people as well, but um, why it's always night at you, man? I don't know, man. It's just the way it is over here. Yeah, I don't know. Like four thousand seven hundred people, or four thousand eight hundred people. I think that's a little bit early to start shutting down servers or to heavily incentivize people to start transferring away. I don't really see anything wrong with having 4.8k people, and like, once again, you don't have to transfer, but my fear here is that it's going to start off by them allowing you to transfer for free, and then suddenly, let, let, let's um, go ahead two months in time. I can see a blue post in two months saying that you now have four weeks to transfer until they shut down the servers. Right? I can see that happening, because what they're trying to do here is shut down the server. They are just trying to get you to transfer for free while you can and just give you as much of a heads up as possible. So they're going to increase the incentive to actually transfer away and then when the server feels absolutely dead the remaining people also transfer for free and then they can just shut down the server and save themselves the cost of having one extra server. Right? I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't see a lot of positives with this. I don't see the problem in having 4.8k. Going over the classic era, I think we have a couple of servers with way less people than this. Even on, yeah, over here, US West PvP, 6.5. EU English PvP, 6k. US East PvP, 2.2. In Wrath, for example, there's a lot of Wrath servers still running that have way less numbers. There's a lot of servers still running that have way less numbers than um, the Season of Discovery one for Chaos Bolt. If anything, I feel a little bit bad right now for anyone playing on Chaos Bolt because it's it looks like a pretty good server and a pretty healthy server as well. For PvP roleplay and then you have 57% and 48 or 57 and 42 or 43 basically, it's not that bad. The faction balance is not that bad. Could have been better, yes. But it's definitely not that bad. I will say it's, it's good that they're allowing you to go to multiple places though. Because if you could only go to Crusader Strike, and as you can see, Chaos Bolt has a lot of Alliance people. So if way too many Alliance goes to Crusader Strike, 
suddenly the alliance faction gets locked, and then you can't go there anymore. So including, what was it again, Lava Lash, right, in the same one? It's definitely good, but as you can see, Lava Lash also has a lot of alliance people. That being said, Lava Lash is PvE server, so the faction balance on PvE servers doesn't really matter that much. But on PvP servers, they definitely do matter. I will say, I didn't know that Crusader Strike was RP PvP. When it comes to EU, like, we only have PvP servers on top. Our PvP RP server, like, all the way, we can just exclude the US here. Yeah, PvP RP for us, Crusader Strike, is way lower than Living Flame and Lone Wolf. But I mean, based on this, would Lava Lash EU be closing anytime soon? It's PvE RP, but it's only 2.3k. If they're closing down the US server with 4k? 4.8? <laughs> like, that's not looking good. For, for the EU server. Even though it's PvE roleplay. Maybe Chaos Bolt EU as well would eventually shut down. Chaos Bolt EU has 11.4 though, so a lot more people. And the faction balance is a little bit better on the EU side with like 48 and 52%. All of them are really faction balanced by the way, look at this. Living Flame, 48, 52, or 48.4, 51.6. Lone Wolf, 48, 52. It's basically 48, 52 for every single one. Crusader Strike as well, 47.7 and 52.3. And Chaos Bolt, 48, 52. They're all basically 48, 52. But then again, for all realms, it's 52 and 48. <laughs> 52 and 48, man. The numbers keep repeating themselves. Absolutely incredible. Uh, on the Lava Lash, uh, not Lava Lash, but on the Chaos Bolt topic, I don't really know what to say. It feels bad. And I'm sorry for anyone playing on Chaos Bolt, because based on me looking at this, it looks okay. It looks like a fairly healthy server. That being said, I, I don't play there, so I don't know how healthy the server is. It could only be bots as well, or maybe, maybe you only have one tenth of the player base actually doing the raid, because these numbers right here are only based on the amount of people that actually raid as well. You could have way better numbers on Chaos Bolt. They just don't raid. That could be the that could be how it is. I don't play there, so I just don't know. But for the shutdown, it's only happening to Chaos Bolt US. Which is interesting. And we're gonna have to wait and see what happens in like the future as well when it comes to other servers, both on US and on EU. I will just say it's really weird comparing this to something like Wrath, where we have a lot of servers with way less numbers, and they are still running. I feel like they should combine some Wrath servers to be to be honest to be honest. Some of the Wrath servers should definitely be combined together to make a couple of big servers instead of having so many fragmented servers. Among Crusader Strike US, there is no RP on that server. Really? No roleplay? Oh my. Shut down all of SOD? No, dude. <laughs> you could almost combine all the wrath into one. Yeah, no. <laughs> I mean, imagine the launch of Cataclysm in that in that case. But I, re I really would like to see them combine more servers in Wrath to make like some big servers. Because right now, part of why Cataclysm, not Cataclysm, but Wrath might feel dead to some people, is the fragmentation. And not just fragmentation among players, like uh, Retail, Dragonflight, Plunderstorm, uh, classic Era, Wrath, Classic, all of these things, Seasonal Discovery. It's also having 10 billion servers in Wrath as well. Um, let me ban this one guy trying to sell viewers as well, or sell uh, whatever that is. Why is that silly problem on Twitch, by the way? Do you not understand? Do I think Cataclysm Fresh will come? Based on the non-success of the Fresh Wrath servers, I don't think so. But I hope so, because I really enjoyed the Fresh Wrath servers. They were really fun while they lasted, but they died out really fast after the launch, because a lot of people went there for the pre-patch, they had their fun, and they went back to their 
original servers for the actual launch. I do hope we get fresh Wrath servers though, because I think that would be good for Blizzard as well, because more people will go out and experience the, um, the, the Sundering. If they don't give us a fresh uh, Wrath servers or fresh, uh, ca fresh Cataclysm servers, then a lot less people will experience level 1 to 60. Because we have, like, me for example, I have 15 level 80s. I don't really have a lot of incentives to level up more 80s in Wrath. Should have known though it would be that way, the only RP server that actually stays active at all is the streamer RP server, pick their sinking ship. I mean, you're right, you're right, but also, at launch, I'm betting the number on Chaos Bolt was way bigger. It's just the way it is, right? The, the number was way bigger at launch and then just like windled away over time. You think Kata will flop hard? I don't think so, personally. But you're allowed to have your opinion. I think the Wrath player base and the Vanilla WoW Classic player base have already... Like, the current Wrath player base enjoy raiding a lot. There's a reason why we have the beta dungeon mechanics in, in Wrath right now, and they're hitting really, really good. They're really good. The dungeons in Cataclysm are way better than the ones in Wrath, the raids are better in Cataclysm than the ones in Wrath, excluding the last four bosses of Dragon Soul, of course, because they sucked ass, and Raid Finder was ass as well. But the raids are really good. Black Queen Descent, as an opening raid, absolutely amazing. The, um, the Throne of the Four Winds, or whatever it's called, is also absolutely incredible. And then Bastion of Twilight, one of the best opening raids of all time. Then you have Firelands, I really enjoyed that raid. And even the first four bosses of Dragon Soul, I really, really enjoyed. The last ones, not so much, but the first bosses, absolutely. So I think the current player base in Wrath, they're already raid logging. Like, when I'm playing Wrath, guess what I'm doing? I'm doing dungeons, gearing up, through dungeons, doing raids. <laughs> what else do you do? <laughs> Come on. Come on. It's like, that's what you end up doing. And in Cataclysm, that's even better. Like, the dungeons are better, the raids are better. I mean, the raids being better is a little bit uh, of an uh, overstatement, maybe. But I, I will just say... ICC is a good raid, but Firelands is also a good raid, and the opening raid of Wrath, Nax Ramus, comparing that to Bastion of Twilight, is comparing horse shit to candy. Like, Nox Ramus as an opening raid was piss easy, boring, we've already been there, we've done that, it's the same mechanics, and once again you can go in in greens. Try to do Bastion of Twilight on Heroic in greens. Try it, man. In Firelands, and in, in Cataclysm, try doing Bastion of Twilight, Heroic, in Greens. PvP is better too. Uh, yeah, I, I think so as well. I think, um, but then again, that's, um, that's subjective. But I think so, I agree. <laughs> 